of Real Talk with Adore and Daisy. How y'all doing? Y'all, we back at it again with a solo episode. This is something we can want to do. We just had to make the time for it. So it's just me and David today. Y'all get what you get is what you see. Or what you, what see, you see is what you, is what you get. get. Yeah. It's the mimosa. <laughs> it's definitely the mimosa kicking in. How you feeling today? I feel good. Let me check in on your mental health. My mental health is in a great space. So I'm choosing peace and happiness. How about yours? You want to keep it sweet and short like that? Sweet and short. Um, yeah, please. Yeah, I'm keeping, I'm choosing happiness. I'm choosing peace and happiness. I just got on vacation, so you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. That's all I can say. How you, how's your mental health? My mental health is in a way, 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 way better space. Like, um, I'm happy. Like, choosing happiness. Yes, choosing peace. Period. Capital P on the piece. Okay. Like, if I feel like you interrupting me or you just not vibing with me, I don't care who you is, you gotta go. Like, I have to save that for later, for it. You can never hear about me. I'm in a good space. I've been in maniac mode, but I'm in a good space. I like that. You said either I'm gonna save it for later or not at all. Like, yeah. maybe not. Well, because it depends on who it is. Like, if it's a family member, I still might, you know, incorporate that. But, you know, that's why I said it just depends. I feel that we gotta let go and let God. Mm -hmm. The most memorable episode is not my most favorite, <laughs> to be honest. What's your most memorable one? Game time, game and them. Oh, yeah. That was my answer. <laughs> That's most memorable for yeah, sure. Like yeah, that was favorite. different. That was different. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but my favorite episode, we've been recording for almost two years, my like. I would say. Um, it would be Mama Osama. Mm. And the reason why that was my favorite is because I didn't expect her to be an open book like she was. Like I learned way more about her than I knew or that I saw like on other interviews or just like videos and clips that she was in. Like I loved like how transparent she was. She talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like I like those type of guests mm. that get in a bag like that. Facts. Yeah. Who's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite is so hard. Well, if you had to choose one, we would. <laughs> I still think it was not one. We've had a lot, so to call one my favorite, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Do I? I gotta come back. I love constructive criticism, but it's depending on who it comes from. Not everybody has um, good interest in you. We take heed, like one time they told us, you know, we don't let the like we. We talk too much. So we start letting the guests speak more. Um, that was one, I guess, constructive criticism, constructive criti criticism that we listened to. Um, I mean, we do still talk, but we let the guests be the guests and let them talk. Um, other than that, I do read the comments, and they all don't be for us sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know. One comment that I did take into consideration was, um, they wanted us out of the old studio that we were recording in. They said oh, they got yeah. tired. So since then, like, I try to switch it up as much as we can. Like, mm -hmm. I try to keep it, you know, so they don't get the same look. Like, we didn't have, what, four or five looks since we started with the network? For sure. Yeah. Yeah, the switch up is definitely dope. They look good. Mm-hmm. I try to get, like, not your typical questions out, but sometimes I like to know something about the guests that the world don't know. Like, that kind of, like, that kind of is like an interesting question because a lot of the people that's watching it, whether they watch it on TikTok, mm -hmm. YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram, like some people probably not might not know the answer to that. Even your diehard fan might not know the answer to that. Yeah, I just pretty much go with the flow. I go with the flow. If it's something that I wanted to know prior to, you know, having them or doing the research and then seeing that it's something that I wanna know, I ask, but yeah. I pretty much go with the flow. I really can't tell because we are our main focus. However, we do see like people coming out with podcasts, but one thing for sure is not easy. It's definitely hard work. But as far as the abroad, like go for it. I like to see it. It's definitely, the podcast game is definitely turned up. Um, but yeah. Definitely can get rich off of it. For sure. Um, I think that a lot of people do start 
but when they start, they might not get all they researched, mm -hmm. and it's a lot to keep up with. Like, you gotta really be consistent in your podcast, and like, especially if you don't have a big following, if you don't already have a name, like, and you literally starting from zero, like, you literally gotta have consistency, like, you gotta- Nothing but consistency. Mm -hmm. You gotta work every day, all day, like, literally, it's no, we realizing this now, and almost year two, like, we like, we gotta do this, like, every day. Like, literally. <laughs> well, before we like got a team together, um, we literally, it got to the point where if I say yes and you say no, it's a no. Like, because we didn't agree. So that was kind of how that was. But now, um, <laughs> but now, I don't remember it being that simple. I'm just, you know, I mean, I re that was a long story short. You went I think we got time. <laughs> I feel like Daisy got a whole different perspective. I think that's what happened. But when we joined the net, <laughs> when we joined the network, um, it was uh -huh. it's good. Like we we'll ask y'all, but even sometimes we ask, and sometimes she still feel like it's a yes. But okay. mm. well, that one time she felt like it was a yes too. Mm. Today you thought it was a yes, but you know um, that's not where I was going with that. I was going with the. Um, how do we deal with disagreements? Yeah. Um, with guests on people. The show. <laughs> um, she she, she made a specific. Oh, that okay. Was the oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We can leave it alone. We're doing with guests on the show, but maybe. I think the people want to know how we deal with disagreements. Go ahead. You yeah, I feel we, like that's a pulling the fans behind the curtain. Oh, we bit. have to go through people quitting. We have to go through arguments. We have to go mm -hmm. through uncomfortable conversations. We got to go through. Not talking or having dry um, yeah. conversations for two, three days. Still got to talk every day, but yeah, it was it's disagree. But luckily, we we're friends, mm -hmm. so it's like we'll be mad at each other in the business world, but still got to check on each other in the friend world. But like we're not talking about business, or we won't even talk at all because honestly, business is the most important thing right now. So yeah, yeah we that's what we went through. Okay. Disagreements were. Um, Tough, but thankfully, so thankfully, gratefully, we got a team, uh -huh. great mediators. Like we needed the balance, like because we don't, we really, honestly don't agree on anything. Like it's always gonna be some back and forth, or mm -hmm. I feel like this, but I feel like this, but I feel like this. You know, it's, yeah. it's we hardly ever agree, whether people know it or not. Like, I think we never really start having no real disagreements until we join the network. Mm. I'm talking about real disagreement. Really? Yeah. Hey. You know, y'all know my mind don't really go back. So it only go back so far. So uh -huh. I, I feel like it was smooth sailing when, like, before that. But I don't feel like the job was as intense. Like we literally used to just record guests, and that was it. Like, yeah, but that, but now that we have structure and we're like, we got plans, and it's harder. Yeah. Like. Uh, I was just putting that out there that I don't think, at least for the first year, we never really had no disagreement. Yeah, we was really going with the flow with Indy and Ari, like, kind of mm -hmm. trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But now, since we got structure, it's like, oh, it's, I feel like this, but I feel like this, mm -hmm. but I feel like this. She think right, I'm so too what serious. so what y'all feel? She think I'm too serious. Y'all know they about to be in the comments eating her ass <laughs> up talking about the seriousness of, of a door. <laughs> but I feel like you have to be serious, like, that a serious person shows me that you're dedicated. Like, all successful people, most of them, a lot of them, at least the ones I listen to, like, they serious people. Like, especially when it comes to business, and you got, I feel like you gotta have it. Like, especially in something like this, like, things have to be done at a certain time, content gotta be posted at a certain time. It's just like that, and you see, we see that every day. Like, yeah. if we're not continuing. I'm not disagreeing. Well, I'm just, I guess See, I'm not disagreeing right now. Yeah. But like, if we don't post, that affects us. Like, so it's just like, if don't nobody say why we not posting, then what's we do, what are we really doing here? Like, and then it's like, I even probably told her once before, like, we had came this far, like, is, is, is we about to do this or we not? Like, that was kind of like where it I, got to. I accept that. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I deleted my thread. I go back. Oh, go to the thread, because I'm the one I said, don't need trip. Go to the thread. I found a way to look it up. Let me tell you, because when we dropped uh, Brooklyn Queen and Yanni, <laughs> Yanni Monet, them, them kids, like, I mean, I'm not to 
you got no kids, but them young adults, yeah. they were tuned in. And I honestly feel like this is like the YouTube world is coming up and they, you know, they air for real. Mm -hmm. They age, like they really support. They are diehard fans, like mm -hmm. literally off YouTubers. Like we fantasize over rappers and movie mo um, actors and actresses, yeah. but like the young world is yeah. YouTubers, TikTok, you yeah. know? It's influencers that they can see, like, and make it feel like they know it just from watching them. So, that kind of changed my mind on our target audience. But it's before hard. that, it's, it's hit or miss, though. It's so hard to tell. You know, like, people will be like, well, we only want to see who the people want to see. But sometimes we don't know what the people want to see. Because we didn't have, like, some really great episodes with people that don't got a name. And mm -hmm. people didn't watch it because they didn't have a name. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. remember that girl that went to prison and she talked about mm -hmm. her story? Like, that was a really good yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. This was a super old episode. But it was just because she didn't have a name that I feel like they didn't watch it. Didn't so watch. it's just, like, that's what make it hard, too. Because, obviously... YouTube subscribers is different from Instagram followers. Like, they'll watch the reels all day on Instagram. Sure. That don't necessarily mean they about to go on YouTube. Right. Like, it's... I don't have a... I don't have, a, like, a, a silent answer on that. Like, I still... I still feel like we haven't figured our target mm -hmm. out yet. I feel like... Seeing that, like, it's like I want to aim at... Mid-20s... Who... Who... I don't know. I don't know. I want to keep it still like our original show, like mm -hmm. real talk. Like we talk to literally everybody, everybody. Right. Like it don't matter what you do. If we want to talk to you, we want to talk to you. So I want to keep that door I'm open. Not, I'm not saying that for like the guests, but I'm saying like the target audience who who go watch it, who go support us. Mm -hmm. I'm like me, like 20s, 30s, our age, like that whole age gap. Like, okay. I feel like that's where I'm at with it. Yes. Yes. Was that your this one right here be <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing this. I don't care. We ain't gonna run into nobody like if we just doing something fast. Uh -huh. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like you should just dress up every day. That's not what yeah. I mean. But if I got on yellow jogging pants and a red shirt, like you know what I mean? Or just like some crappy stuff. My reason has never been I'm not gonna run into nobody. It's I don't care who sees me. This is the real me. So no, I'm not like to dress up every time you see me. That ain't what I meant. At least my clothes match is what I'm where I'm going with. But that's I think I think that's how the conversation was. Like I'm not gonna have on yellow shoes and a that's just me though. That's that's the real me. But I'm saying like uh what was we at, Ruth Chris? And I had said something in that nature about getting dressed or something I had on or something like that. And I'm and she was like, Don't like anybody gonna see us or something like that. And sure enough, as soon as we said that, somebody came up to us. Oh yeah, it was an ugly lady too. Yeah. It was That was crazy. She waited until she was feeling good up. She got up. She was like, I watch your podcast. And she was like an older lady. Like, That's what like okay, period. And, um, people knew us at the YouTube funny. event. People knew me. Like, it's been a few other places I went that people knew who I was. And I'd be like, no, that ain't me just to see if they knew for real. But no, they be knowing. They be knowing. They be knowing. The biggest lesson I've learned is timing is everything. Like, it's going to come when the time is right. Like, those guests that said once said no, now they seem like, well, we did tell them no 60 episodes ago, but mm -hmm. look at them now. Yeah. Right? You know? So, like, I know when it's destined, like, it's going to come in divine time. Like, I know that. So, yeah, I would say the biggest lesson we've also learned is to stay consistent, mm -hmm. like, all the way around. Drop every week, post every day. Mm -hmm. Don't let it, like, put it in their face. Um, don't stop. That's, like, literally the biggest lesson being consistent. Mm -hmm. We still learning. Well, if I gotta answer that question today, if I see you reach out because I don't see, we don't see everybody. You know, I tap into what you're doing. I see what you're doing, and you know, we gonna tap in with the team. And if the team says yes, it's the yes. But the list so long right now. Those people that say yes still <laughs> might have to be at the end of the list. Like, mm -hmm. and it's like no sarcasm. Like. I know on the outside looking in, it look fun, it look lit. Oh, let me go in there and they be talking about this. Like, we talk about real relatable things, but it's just to a point where, you know, you, we've worked a little harder and we got here. So it's just like the people that we are getting are like bigger now. So, like, it's a, we held to a higher standard now. I would say. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But yeah, we are still learning. Like, it's no yes or no right now. Like, we are literally still learning. The process and like she said the list is long because we got people that we wanted on you know what i'm saying so it's really two lists <laughs> but no. Uh.
<laughs> but don't still you still can inquire if you want. Please don't reach let out. that don't let Please that reach out. Cause even we are working on so much stuff now and we need so much content. It's like even if we don't do a full episode, we might come kick it with you and mm -hmm. you know, if you got a business we can come do a food review or if you got clothes and you want us to come to your store and get merch, we can come there and do that. You know, mm -hmm. so we can always figure something out to work. You just might not get a whole episode right now at this time. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. <laughs>